Um, but yeah, so it's like, ooh, ooh. I'm excited to use that. I'm gonna use it tomorrow. Saturday night. Saturday night at the movies. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday and I'm off work after four days of work so I'm really really needed this um, I feel really tired actually and um, so me and my mum are off to Newcastle I've got I've got a laser appointment at half 12 because I've still been having my laser hair removal and then we're just gonna do some shopping gonna go to H&M and um, I actually want to look in Primark don't know whether my mum will come with it <laughs> but I want to have a little look in Primarni um, and yeah it's a very miserable day so it's not that great but hey ho it'll be a nice little day this is the first day we've done something together in feels like forever oh my god that's like april you dumped me you dumped me she doesn't love us she was been she's been working too much yeah you have so yeah we're gonna have a fun day and it's gonna be a fun weekly vlog my hair looks very dark and i'm actually getting it done on friday and i'm super thrilled can't wait to go in that hairdressing chair and just get fresh blonde hair <laughs> and then this is my last hair removal session before my holiday so that's good and I'm gonna you're not really meant to but I'm gonna have a few sunburns just to get my tan going I know it's bad but hey ho um, and yeah let's get on with the weekly vlog and I hope you enjoy also I just wanted to say my friend is currently in labor giving birth to our baby and we don't know what she's having but she texted me earlier saying that she was watching the vlog while she was waiting for like the doctors and I was just like that is the she said I bet this is the first time anyone's ever texted you saying they're watching the vlog whilst in labor and oh, I'm just so excited for her like I say she doesn't know what she's having so I'm waiting for the text to find out and I can't wait um so yeah she knows who she is she watches these vlogs and I'm so excited for you oh. Is that Mandy Stevenson in Primark? <laughs> I'm saying, is that Mandy Stevenson in Primark? I We just had a lovely little lunch day, didn't we? So nice. And we're now somewhere out. for a change. Yes, Cafe 21 in Fennec. We both got club sandwich and then chat shared the chips well we're gonna go for a salad yeah we thought we'd get a salad to be fair the salads look good i wish i had really good i feel good um and then we picked up a little costa and i forgot to tell you only had to pay 50 pence because my i had two free drinks on the app so good so we're now just walking to the car we're gonna head off and head home got a few bits got a couple of swimming costume which I'm excited to try and I had my laser appointment. It cost her I got the white hot chocolate and it's actually so nice. Um, Mum got a little normal hot chocolate and I went for the white. So yeah, successful little shopping trip. I think I've got lipstick all over my face. Success, 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 success. Success, 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 We've got 34 mile in this car. Are we gonna get there and back? Yeah. Also, we made the parking perfect. So we'll do just one time, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm home now from the shops and I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. Um, I got a few bits for holiday, so I'm very excited. All of it is in here in a little H&M bag. Basically, when, this is not actually H&M, but went into Primark and got a few swimsuits. I will show you them and I'll probably try them on in the next clip. Although I am very pale, so I don't feel the best. But I got this sort of orange, it's tied at the in the middle because it has to tie at the back but basically like an orange swimming costume in Primark this was £12 I thought with a tan that would look lovely then I also got a chocolate one it looks black on there but it's chocolate and that's like halter neck I think oh I actually know it cross like a crisscross neck oh I love that even more and that was also £12 so I got those two swimming costumes because I just kind of fancy a swimming costume on this holiday I'm going on. Um, I don't know why, I just, probably because I don't feel like my best. 
um, but I thought swimming costumes would be nice because I can still tan, pull them down and stuff, but yeah, so I got those. And then in Primark, I also got some little trainer socks because we'll always need them in this house. And obviously some cotton pads because they're like 50 pounds for all of them in Primark. And then in H&M, I got this green shirt, which was $17.99. And I thought that would look, it's like an emeraldy colour, I thought that would look lovely over a bikini, like a nice green bikini with some white shorts or something, just like every day. So I got one of those, and actually that would look really nice with jeans as well, so you'll probably see me wearing it before my holiday. But it's nice to actually have some holiday bits and start the holiday shop. I will obviously do a pack with me when I go away, but yeah, I thought that was super nice, just throw it on. And I actually got that in a medium. I tried it on in the shop as well, and it was like oversized, which is what I wanted. I think I've got the other H&M one in a large, so, but that is big anyway, so that's fine. And then I also picked up some bikini bottoms from H&M, which you're gonna think, why have you not got the bikini top? But basically, the top, this was the bottoms, and the top was in a, all the tops were like a size six. So I went online and the top had actually gone in the sale. So they didn't have it. So I thought I would put my notify me on. So when it does come in, I can grab the top. But there wasn't any tra like pants online. So I thought if I didn't get the pants, I wouldn't get both. Because they weren't online at all. You couldn't even like notify yourself for them. Oh my god, I thought they said they were a size 8. And I was like, they're not my size. But that's the wrong Thing. that's a perfect size um yeah so i thought if i just got them in store and then i can get a hold of the bikini top to match then perfect and if not i'll just take them back because i'd rather have them and maybe get the top than get the top and not have the bottoms that was my method in my madness and that was everything um there was actually some quite nice bits in primark like i found like loads of like little like bodies and stuff i would have got but i just want to focus on like swimming stuff sorry not swimming stuff, holiday stuff at the minute just because i'm going in like next month so i want to get a few bits so i'm going to go and try the book the swimsuits on and we'll see how they look but yeah i loved what i picked up i'm also going to chill this afternoon enjoy my chill day and then we're going to my parents tonight for a roast dinner which is super nice so i'm going to go try the swimsuits on probably not best after i've just ate like club sandwiches but hey ho oh and also i just want to quickly mention um obviously i had my laser appointment today in the middle of the shopping trip and um, when we got there and i go to a place called newcastle no laser clinics in newcastle and honestly the girl who does my laser i always request her now because i had her the first time and she's just so nice i can't explain she's like the nicest person ever they all make you feel so welcome when you go in obviously it's like a private area i have mentioned this um but she's just so nice and she makes me feel very welcome so i'm thrilled i've had that done that was my third session i think so now i have to wait a while because i'm going on holiday and you're not really meant to have sun exposure to the areas like I was saying this earlier, so I need to wait. Like, I think I'm not going back until like August or something. So it'll be a few months, but three sessions in, I think, and feeling good. My armpits barely grow back and neither does my bikini line. So very thrilled with that. But yeah, let's try these swimming costumes on and then like, I'm going to go and chill on the sofa, get cozy. I think I'm going to do my toenails actually because they need um, gel and so I might show you them if they look nice. <laughs> So I don't feel like I can really show myself in those swimming costumes because I just feel very pale. So I'm just going to leave it. But they were nice. I like them. I'm keeping them. They've gone in my holiday drawer. And I just wanted to quickly um, show some new bits I got from Charlotte Tilbury, um, which are really exciting. I've been obsessed with buying new makeup in the last sort of week and a bit. I don't know what it is. I actually tried a new foundation today. My friend let me borrow her hourglass foundation stick and I really like it. Hasn't lasted as well as my foundation normally lasts, but I'm not sure whether I set it enough. I don't know. I've liked it. I like the colour. Probably will end up getting this colour and stuff, but I don't know. I don't want to use too much of it as well because it's really expensive and it was very kind of her to actually let me borrow it. But I've been obsessed with getting new makeup and I do have a code for Charlotte Tilbury, which is page S15. If you put that in a checkout, you will get 15% off. So I will leave that in the description and you can get some discount on Charlotte Tilbury for these next bits, which are all new goodies. Oh no, I'm, mm, yeah, they are all new goodies. There's basically two new goodies, but I can only show one of them, which is actually really annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I'll show that another time when I can. Um, can't show that just yet, but I got a serum, 
which you as you all know I have just been like just started using it and I'm obsessed with it I actually love it so much I've used it for like three or four days now just once a day you meant to use it twice or you can use it twice but I have only used it once a day and I'm honestly loving it so my makeup just goes on gorgeous I haven't broken out yet with it I had a few spots here but I've I'm kind of hormonal as well coming up so I don't really blame the serum so I definitely recommend that but the new product is the new bronzer I think I'm going to do a makeup video with this but um, it's basically the beautiful skin sun kissed glow bronzer and I got it in the shade 2 it's actually a cream bronzer it is so gorgeous like it is so nice that's the back that's the front Woo. Um, so I got like I say shade 2 I haven't used it yet I'm very excited to use it oh I can see myself I'm looking very shiny very shiny indeed and um, but yeah so it's like oh oh i'm excited to use that i'm gonna use it tomorrow um but yeah i've never really had a cream bronzer so very excited to use that so yeah i just thought i'd show you those bits because they're bringing them bronzers out they might actually be already online i don't know if you can get them um but yeah the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, which is out or coming out. Oh god, it feels super creamy. That's it on my hand. Like it looks quite dark compared to my hand, but obviously, um, I always wear like a darker foundation. But yeah, and then there is another product, but I just remembered I can't actually show that yet. So when it is announced, I will. Um, and the serum. So yeah, I did also get the bits that came through. I don't know whether I mentioned this in like last week's vlog. I ordered some bits off Mac website because they had 50% off. So I got one of the Warm Soul blushes, which is so nice. It was a classic when I used to work for them. I used to love it. One of those. And I got a Fix Plus spray in the rose, which is actually for my makeup kit. So yeah. New makeup bits, very exciting. Yeah. Love and buying new products. If you've got anything you'd recommend, let me know because I'll buy it probably because I'm just obsessed at the minute. But yeah, I was going to go and take my back to Max today when I went shopping, which is where you take six empty products and get a free lipstick. But I forgot them, so that was annoying because I wanted a new Myth lipstick and another one. I don't know. And I've got loads of empties, so that would have worked. But I forgot them, so next time. Hi everyone, happy Friday. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. Today is Friday, like I've just said, and actually I'm off work now for the weekend, which is so not like, it's not normal. It, this never happens. So I'm off Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which is the best. Um, I've been at work all week, so I obviously haven't picked up the vlog. The last clip you would have seen was me talking about the Charlotte Tilbury products and all the new makeup bits I got. Um, but I'm currently about to head off and get my hair done. I'm so excited because it is literally so dark. I'm going to get lots more blonde in, ready for summer and ready for the holiday we're going on next month. Um, I can't wait. Um, I've got a little bag of snacks for the hairdressers because I'm always starving when I like, because I'm in their ages. It's also boiling today. <sighs> um, just wanted to mention, I've actually got some eyelashes on as always um but these are actually i don't know whether anyone knows this if you know me you will know i did actually have an eyelash brand um years ago well before lockdown it was like kind of kicking off and then lockdown happened and it just kind of fizzled out and no one was going out so no one bought lashes anymore so i stopped it but i've put these ones on these are the ones in the shit in the style paris and i literally love them like i've cut them so they're kind of sitting like more winged and i literally love them i still have quite a few pairs left really that I could sell but I just if people message me and ask about them I've like sent them out and stuff so yeah I've got these on the called Paris and I feel like my makeup looks nice um I haven't tried the cream bronzer yet the Charlotte Tilbury one also my camera is flashing and I did bring a spare battery so I'm gonna swatch that over swatch swap that over 
all good back to full battery um so yeah like i say it's friday i'm going to get my hair done i am going to try and film some clips in the hairdressers i've decided to be brave my hairdresser knows i does i do youtube videos so she's not even gonna care might do like a little time lapse or something um and then i've got a fun weekend well i say a fun weekend me and jake are gonna go out for some food tomorrow night we've got like a few bits of plans i haven't really overfilled the plans of the weekend we're just kind of gonna play it by ear we're gonna go to a place in newcastle tomorrow night called chinatown which is where all the chinese restaurants are um because we went to town a few weeks ago for steak and then i was like why we walk through chinatown i was like why do we never come here um so we're gonna go out for a chinese which is gonna be fun because we've not done that um I don't think we've ever actually done that together so that'll be lovely we're gonna go with one that i think he's booked one of them we've got two recommendations i think he's booked one so we're doing that tomorrow night and then what else nothing really just gonna go for walks with the family um catch up with family and just have the most chilled few days well three days off um and then I actually the other day booked a trip next week, a day trip with my friend Rosie who lives in London. We like to meet up every now and then like when we've not seen each other for ages and we're meeting up actually in York next week. So she said, cause she picked the destination, I have to pick everything that would do. So I've already started looking at things, um, but we're dead easy when we're together. Literally, we both love exactly the same things and we're just so easy going. So it'll be the nicest day. So that'll be in next week's vlog. When I get home today, I wanna finish, um, sorry, film a video, which is a fun video. Um, and yeah, apart from that, it's just gonna be the nicest weekend. I feel like all I've done in the last Two weeks is actually work believe it or not because of the way my days off fell because I've saved kind of all my days off for the end of this week because Friday and Saturday is a day off I've only really had like between two weeks I've only really had like one day off sort of thing so it's like been like two stints of like long days it's not even hard it's just when I'm not used to it so yeah I feel like all I've done is work so I'm ready just to add a lovely lie in this morning just relaxed and yes, very excited to have the weekend off. I'm going to actually really need to get lawn, like comfort, you know, like laundry liquid that you put in, like fabric conditioner, because I have the biggest mountain of washing. When I say the biggest mountain, I think it's the biggest I've ever had and I just can't be bothered to do it, but I have to. So I need to go to B&M or Home Bargains at some point after my hair, but let's go and get transformed. I'm so excited. Whoop, whoop. Gonna be blonde. <laughs> So my hair is all done and I literally love it. I feel so much blonder. Oh, I love it. Um, I did film some clips so you will have seen. And whilst I was there, I got my car washed inside and out. And oh my God, it is literally sparkling. The car feels new. So new hair and, oh, <laughs> new hair and new car. So I'm literally buzzing. Yeah, buzzing, thrilled. Which could also. I love my hair. Woo. 
So me and my mum have just came to B&M. I need lots of cleaning product. She's hiding. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go uh, hit up B&M and spend some money on some, spend Jake? on some shit. <laughs> yeah, this is shit. Let's go. Me and I were pushy. <laughs> Cute little cool boxes in B&M, £22. Morning everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my weekly vlog. I'm just about to head out for breakfast with two of my friends, my friend Gabby and then my friend Donna who's up from London with their little girls. So I've just had a busy little morning and it's literally half 10, I feel very productive. So we're gonna head over to like Seaburn. I think we're just gonna go for like a coffee and maybe like some breakfast. Um, so I thought I'd take you along and then me and Jake are going out tonight. So I've got a fun Saturday. Feels so nice to be off work, like nicer than I can ever imagine. Um, me and Jake watched a movie last night. We just had the chillest night. It was really nice. Had a glass of Prosecco and yeah, feeling good. So I'm gonna go into my friends now and she's gonna drive us over. So come with us for breakfast. Saturday night. Saturday night at the movies. That one. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly vlog. It's Saturday night and me and Jake are off to Chinatown in Newcastle. We're going to a place called Landmark, or The Landmark, I don't really know, where we've both never been. I've been to Chinatown before, but I've not been to this one. Um, have you been to the Valley? No, I think so. Um, so we've both not been, and obviously it's Chinese food. Um, I did try and pick up the vlog earlier, but basically I went out for some food with my two friends, but I didn't pick up the camera at all. And then I went to do my grandma's nails. So I've just had a really productive, chill day. Um, nice Saturday off work. You can't even see us. For God's sake, man. That's better. Um, yeah, nice Saturday, chill off work. Off again tomorrow, so I'm sure we'll figure out some plans probably like a walk and a coffee sunday morning plans there was mention of the quayside so maybe the food market we'll see good idea <laughs> oh, yeah. um so yeah that's the plans and not much is really going on apart from excited for our little date night and i hope the chinese food is good i think because we don't really go out for chinese food that much I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to be like, but I'm sure it'll be lovely and I'll keep you updated with what we'll have. So let's go eat some Chinese food. There they are. So we're home now from Chinatown and it was really nice, the food. The starters kind of let it down because we got like three starters to share and one of them was lovely, like the spring rolls were so nice but then the other two were a bit weird. And um, we got bao buns and they didn't really, I've had better. So starters let it down but the mains were actually so, so tasty. Um, but yeah, we're home, we're just gonna now watch a movie. It's still super light outside even though it's like five to nine. I'm loving the light nights. But that's kind of it for this week's vlog. I'm going to probably pick up the vlog tomorrow and start the new weekly. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. And I really hope you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will see you in my next video.